Hey guys, in this video we will take a look at the GPS module of the Flyworks Explorer and whether we can fix the GPS lock issue on satellites the Flyworks Explorer experienced. This is the V1 version and we will compare that later to the V2 which I have on order. At the end of this video I have a test flight included to see if in the real world what we are doing to the GPS module is actually efficient. Let's take a look after the intro. Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we are trying to fix our GPS lock issue. And for that we are trying to separate the rays and the waves uh, the CADEX Vista is emitting from the wires of the GPS module itself. The top three wires are from the GPS module and the bottom two are from the buzzer. Reportedly there are issues. And solving it uh, we are looking first at the state we are in now. Looking in beta flight in our GPS tab, we see that we are playing here with five to six satellites only. We cannot see more. We are inside right now, so we don't get a lock, that's fine. But we are only seeing six satellites. Trying to think of a very simple solution everyone can implement. Um, I was thinking of copper tape to just shield all possible interferences with the CADEX Vista air unit uh, with the wires of the GPS module. So I was wrapping the wires in copper tape. As a reference point we have the six satellites before wrapping the wires. And going back into better flight here we now jump up to 11 satellites the GPS module is talking to. Having the reference point of six satellites only we have already a theoretical improvement. If that actually materializes in the real world when we are doing our test flight at the end of this video, we will see. But for now, there is somehow an indication that the wrapping in copper tape is doing something positive to how the GPS module can see satellites and potentially log onto them. Let's take a quick look how I do my personal settings in beta flight. And for that, we're having now a dedicated tab category for all these settings. So we are going to the failsafe tab where we are finding those. Before at failsafe we had the option of dropping out of the sky. But now with GPS we have multiple options. So we want to choose GPS rescue. Landing I guess would be better than just failsafing and dropping. But since we have GPS on board we don't want to land because we can be on an area where we don't want to land. Or water or somewhere else. So we want the quad coming back to us. Five satellites to be logged on is a bit sketch, but this is the minimum requirement from better flight. So I recommend to increase that at least to six or seven to really be able to rely on that system. That the quad is actually coming back to your location reliably when you're using GPS rescue. I'm usually using allow arming without fix and that let me take off even if I don't have the sufficient satellite log according to the minimum satellites required. But in the OSD I'm checking then by myself if I'm taking off do I have enough minimum requirement satellites available or not and then I know if I can rely on the system. But I still can fly if I really want to and the system is not restricting me from taking off. Most options here in beta flight can be taken as they are. They are uh, pre-configured the throttle minimum and maximum and the uh, angle of attack of the quad they are all fine. There are, however, uh, two main uh, categories where I like to make uh, an adjustment and that is for the sanity checks. Um, I'm choosing their fail safe only. And then for the altitude mode, I'm choosing maximum altitude. Maximum altitude is basically the altitude, um, the highest one you had in your flight until that point when you fail safe. 
So when fail saving, uh, the quad will go up to that highest altitude you had until that point and come back. For me, that is the best setting. Since I'm cruising outside doing not really long range flights, but flying a bit around trees and some light freestyle. So for that it's fine. But if you're doing freestyle and flying outside and then from outside inside a building, uh, maybe you don't want to enable that function because if you're then face saving inside a parking garage, it might crash into the seating and destroy your quad. In that case, you might want to just choose land or maybe not using GPS rescue altogether. And it is maybe good to keep in mind if using GPS rescue in better flight, it is not like a return to home function from DJI on a Mavic. It is flying and casting your quad back in your direction. That is the idea that you're basically getting it closer to your location and then at some point you can catch it again if you lost connection before. But it will not come back and softly land. It will come back until a certain point and then descend and crash right and slam into the ground. So you want to catch it and land it then manually. So that is um, not a full automated return to home and land function, but a really helpful tool that when you're doing a flight and you're losing your quad, that it's not immediately crashing, that you have a chance to catch it again when it's coming back your direction, where you most likely have a better reception and a better connection to your flight electronics on board. So let's jump right into the test flight. Um, when arming the quad, I had immediately uh, eight, nine satellites available, which I never have seen before with this Flyway Explorer LR, the first version here. Um, I was really surprised how such a little tweak in my case can fix the problem. I hope when you try that out that you have the same great experience. It really depends a little bit on what kind of uh, environment you have, what interferences, maybe the country as well, what kind of satellite situation you have. But in my case it fixed the issue and that is great. Because the chance is really high that in your case you have also improvements when you are doing the same thing. So this is now the test flight. I'm cruising around here in acro mode trying not to crash into anything emphasizing trying to because to be honest this is one of my first FPV flights I'm a bloody beginner if it comes to FPV and quads and flying them I'm a pilot for many years but only for fixed wings I enjoy flying planes and the muscle memory building up flying those is completely different from when you want to operate a quad so basically you have to unlearn what you did before to really learn and to build up good muscle memory for flying quads, doing freestyle, not thinking about your next move and just doing the stick input. If you're new to the hobby, FPV building the drones and the technology behind, not just for engineers like us, it is really enjoyable to do and you can learn a lot along the way. For the flying part, simulators were really helping me and I spent quite some quality time with liftoff over the last months and that was a really good experience for getting the basic muscle memory right and knowing the steering inputs you have to do to get the quad right, left, up, down and flip. So that was a good start and then I was fading gradually over and getting the real quad up in the air and trying to fly and doing the first hovers in line of sight. And as always guys, thanks for watching. If you like and enjoy the content, help out the channel and smash that like button. Also, stay subscribed for more content to come wherever you are in the galaxy. Have a great rest of the day, stay safe and see you in the next one.